Behind me, you see a replica of my father's last study in Los Angeles. I will be commenting on the objects and the furniture in this room and telling you about how he used these. My father's uh, bookbinding tools, some of the books that he bound himself, and a press. This is the forerunner of the photocopy machine. It is a very simple machine which treated light sensitive paper. Uh, besides the chess that he invented, which you will see in the exhibition, uh, he made the regular chess pieces out of paper and paper mache, uh, all kinds of recycled materials. He also made uh, several pocket chess sets, which he gave as presents uh, to people, and they were very, very nicely made. He was so good at, with his hands. I have to say something about this furniture because a lot of it was designed by him and some of the pieces were made by him actually. This cupboard uh, was where he, uh, he kept all of the important documents. We were always very fascinated by all the pens and pencils in our father's workroom. He was very thrifty about his use of pencils. When they became too short to hold in your hand, he would make an extension out of paper, cardboard. He also invented the adhesive tape dispenser, which in those days did not exist. You could get the rolls of tape, but there was no dispenser. For the brown paper tape, which you had to wet, and which he used a great deal, not only for packages, but for some of his uh, hobbies, uh, he made this large dispenser out of wood. This was a feature in the Los Angeles Times. Every day they showed the private lives of different famous people. And uh, here they published this one on my father. It's very funny because it says that uh, my father composed in the midst of uh, three children scampering about and rabbits and dogs and everything. This is an array of pencils which my father put together so that we could draw the staves on these large pieces of butcher paper which he used uh, to give his music examples to his Sunday classes at home. I think when my father was not composing, he was always inventing something and making something better or something useful for his, you know, for his everyday life. And for instance, he made these uh, rubber stamps. This is, this, these are out of wood and he actually carved his initials on there. There's another one, a bigger one. I can remember my father showing me this Bruckner award, which he had received. I think he was very proud of that. This piano, uh, which was in his study, I hardly ever saw him play. He was not a pianist, but he did insist that all of his students must learn to use the piano. My father did not compose at the piano.